everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is Lala roasting the absolute hell out of Raquel on her Amazon Live and then also on her Instagram story about that, you know, fake cease and desist legal threat letter that she sent. And then also we are going to get into how Raquel, in my opinion, has been fired twice now, first by her original PR team and now by her second one. That was Erica Jane's PR team. We'll get into it. And I also think that this vindicates Sheena Shea. And I'll get into why I think that, okay? And then we'll talk about, at the very end, Jax Taylor teasing his Bravo return. Okay, you guys? Okay. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is free. If you like self-care and wellness content, go ahead and sign right up. So with that, let's dive right on in. So let's first talk about Lala Kent slamming Raquel regarding the legal letter, shall we? Let's do it. Let me pull it up, you guys. One sec. While I pull it up, go ahead and like the vid. All right, here we go. All right, dun, 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 dun. Let's get into it. So this is according to page six, okay? Lala Kent slams Raquel for sending legal letter over explicit video, AKA the sex video. And I have the clip. So we'll go through the article like we always do, and then we can watch it, okay? Here we go. Lala Kent called out Raquel for sending her a legal letter requesting she and her co-stars delete a sexually explicit video of Raquel they may have obtained. Side note, allegedly what is on the video is Raquel pleasuring herself with her fingers, okay? That is what allegedly is on said video. All right. Raquel, <laughs> oh, well, sorry, one second. Then Lala says, um, Raquel, tell your little Mickey Mouse lawyer that if he has stuff to send over, he can send things to my lawyer. Same with the rest of my friends and cast, all right? Kent32 firmly said in a since deleted selfie Instagram story video on Tuesday. But she may have deleted it, but we got it, okay? Shout out to Queens of Bravo Plus. Um, they were able to snatch it. I snatched it from them, and so we can watch it, okay? So we got it. The Vanderpump Rules star claimed that she, quote, never in my life has had an attorney contact her via her personal email rather than a lawyer's email. I agree with Lala on this. If you know that the person you are sending this to has legal counsel, and I'm sure that she would have their legal counsel, their legal counsel contact information, why would her lawyer contact her personally? That doesn't make sense. It's not like she's being subpoenaed. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm with Lala on this one. I don't know if you know how this works. I know you're pretty brand new to the game. It didn't last long. Look what you did with your effing 15 minutes, Kent continued, referring, referring to Raquel having an affair with Ariana's Maddox, now ex-boyfriend Tom Sandoval. Uh-uh-uh. The Give Them Lala podcast host appeared to get more upset the more she discussed the matter as she zoomed in on her face several times to emphasize, that's why we have counsel, Okay. I don't want a deal. And then she goes on, send it to Daryl. We have the video. We'll watch it. Lala, who's had a rocky relationship with Raquel over the years, has been just one of many Vanderpump Rules star to share several thoughts and opinions on Raquel and Tom's affair. Raquel, who was 28, had her attorney send legal letters to Kent and other cast members to withhold them from showing others a recording taken of Raquel from an intimate FaceTime call with Tom Sandoval. Now, side note, people are saying that it is Raquel's parents who stepped in. I don't know, the there's been situations where people have said Raquel and her mother don't have a relationship and she was adopted by her aunt. I've heard that, um, but either way, her aunt or her dad or her dad and the aunt, whatever the situation is, 
word on the street is that they are stepping in and they are the ones who hired the legal team. And this is um, what they're saying to do. So they're basically being like, we don't want her to have the sex tape out there. They're the ones paying for the lawyers. There is, they're the ones who got the lawyers, which I totally get. I get that. You know, if I was out here acting like a damn fool all in the streets, I'm pretty sure my mom would be like, Candy, you need to calm down. Rain it in, sweetheart. We're going to get the lawyers in here and you're just going to have several seats. However, what we would not do is this. We would not pretend that I was a victim of a sexual exploitation plot or whatever you want to call it when I wasn't. And that is what Raquel is doing. You know, I don't think anybody with any common sense, and we all have our critical candy cane thinking hats on, I don't think anybody with common sense actually thinks that Tom Sandoval took any video of her without her consent. Tom Sandoval might be a lot of things, but I don't think he's a sexual predator. You know, he's a lot of things, but I don't think that. And like we talked about earlier, it makes it so much harder for when there are actual victims who have been exploited like this to come forward. So it's fine. Get the lawyers to step in. I get that part. Hey, don't distribute it. But don't lie and say all the other stuff. That not not today, say, and not today. But let's keep going. Raquel's attorney alleges that the video was recorded illegally without her knowledge or consent and cited a California law against revenge P. TMZ reported on Tuesday, the letter didn't specify if it was Sandoval who recorded it, but the letter at hand appears to be the same sexually explicit video Raquel, um, of Raquel that Ariana found on Sandoval's phone on Wednesday night. Upon seeing the video, Maddox discovered that Tom and Raquel began their full-on affair last summer and had been communicating inappropriately ever since. One insider told us that Raquel had slept over Tom and Ariana's house when Ariana had been out of town. Her grandmother passed away. She went to Florida. Okay, now let's watch what Lala had to say. Let's watch the video on what she had to say, guys, okay? And then also... We can also watch the Instagram, the Amazon, the Amazon live one too, but let's watch the first one with the clap back. Okay. Here we go. That if he has stuff to send over, he can send things to my lawyer. Same with the rest of my friends and cast. All right. I've never in my life had a lawyer contact me in my personal email. All right. I don't know if you know how this works. I know you're pretty brand new to the game. Didn't last long. Look what you did with your fucking 15 minutes. You have something to send over. You can send it to my lawyer. That's why we have counsel. Okay. I don't want to deal. I have a life going on. You got a little baby to take care of. I don't want to see that in the morning. I don't want to see that ever. Send it to Daryl. I mean, Lala's pretty funny there. Can't lie. She, she's pretty funny there. So let's keep going. It says, neither Tom nor Raquel, who have been wearing matching lightning bolt necklaces throughout their affair, again, so disrespectful and psychotic and sick, just playing in our faces like that, have shared their intentions for one another, but one insider told us they want to be together. Tom seemingly confirmed they were still seeing each other after he paid Raquel a late night visit to her apartment on Saturday night. A little booty call, right? Bravo producer Andy Cohen also said that from his intelligence, the two are still together. Let's think about that, right? Let's think about that. Shout out to Lala for her clap back. And then we can watch the Amazon live a little clip from there. If... Raquel is saying that she did not consent to this video and that Tom took it without her consent. But again, they're not, quote, saying that because they don't want to get in trouble. Why is she still with Tom? Why is she still with him? Why is there legal, no legal action against him? I know if I was seeing someone and they recorded me doing any type of sexual act, whether it's to myself or not, without my consent, that person would be dead to me. I would not be with that person. But clearly, they're still together. 
and she's taking no legal action against him. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Let's keep going. Raquel has not discussed the affair or legal letters at all, but Sandoval shared a lengthy statement talking about people's anger and disappointment towards him. However, he notably didn't say anything about Ariana specifically. All right. Now, let's get into what Lala was saying on her Amazon Live, because she definitely clapped back at her in that situation. Okay. So Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent continued to rip co-stars Raquel and Tom over their months-long affair during an Amazon Live on Tuesday. Careful to avoid getting in trouble with Bravo for spilling too much tea. An admittedly exhausted and brain-fried Lala described the secret lovers as two people who couldn't be further from who they pretended to be. Noting she never liked either of them. She added that it feels good to have everyone else feel the same way. She does after Tom's mask fell. As for how his as for how his recent ex Ariana is holding up, the Give Them Lala Beauty founder explained, Ariana is moving with the motion of the ocean. You know, she's doing as well as can be expected. She's got a really great support team behind her, she went on, admitting that the two haven't been super close for a while. Of course they haven't been super close for a while. Tom doesn't like you, Lala, because Tom doesn't like strong women. And if you become too strong when he's with, when you're with him, he does to you what he did to Kristen. He does to what he did to Ariana. And he's, and he's going to do to Raquel the same exact thing. Tom doesn't like strong women. women. That's why he had a beef with Stasi, because she was strong. She stood her own. She commanded attention. And he didn't like that. He wanted to be the HBIC. He wanted to be the person who was in the spotlight. That's also why he never liked Lala like we're talking about now. Lala is also strong. She commands attention. She's in the spotlight. I think he liked Kristen when he thought, when he thought that Kristen was obsessed with him. But when Kristen started to rise on her own, then he didn't like her. It was crazy Kristen, and they were cheating, doing this, that, and a third. That's when he found Ariana. Ariana was obsessed with Tom. She liked to act like she was the cool girl, but we all know low-key that was obsession, and she put Tom on the pedestal. But when she started to take him off the pedestal, like with the cocktail book and everything else, then there was trouble in paradise. And then now we have little Bambi-dyed Raquel, who clearly is all up Tom's butt and all obsessed over him. So, of course, he's into her. He's into whatever woman will feed his ego. And if there is a woman that threatens his ego, he doesn't like them, he talks bad about them, and he tries to take him down. I forgot to add Katie to that list. That's another reason why he didn't like Katie. Yes, because he was also in love with Tom Schwartz. But also because Katie, again, strong woman, commands attention, doesn't back down. What female does Tom ever like in a genuine way? Can't, can't think of one. Can't think of one that he has actually liked in a genuine way, unless in the moment she was obsessed and feeding his ego. Ridic it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Let's keep going. I think I'm a little abrupt for her. I think I'm a little too abrupt for her right now. I'm very intense. And I don't know if that's the headspace that she's that she's in quite yet, Ken said. I think I'd be more beneficial when more time has passed. She added that those on the Vanderpump Rules cast have had differences, like Katie Maloney and Sheena Shea have set everything aside to rally around their friends. As for how Shay, who was the closest to Raquel, is coping with the fallout, Lala shared she's going through it. It's very hard when you trust people like that and you start thinking about people differently. However, she remained mum on the rumors that the former friend's heated conversation became physical, saying she talked to Sheena and that never came up. Now, I do think that Sheena is going to be vindicated and that'll and we'll touch on that in the next story. All right. When asked how she felt about Sandoval's statement on the matter, which included an apology to his business partners and employees, but not to Maddox, the mother of one said, my thoughts are, 
tell us you're a narcissist without telling us you're a narcissist. It's just so textbook to me, that part. Kent also said none of her castmates are really Team Sandoval right now, except his friend and business partner, Tom Schwartz. I tried to tell y'all he's weak. I said at first, did I not? She added that she doesn't think there is any coming back from this for either Sandoval or Raquel, as she believes they, they both have flawed characters. Additionally, Lala said Vanderpump Rules mat matriarch Lisa Vanderpump is very upset about all of this. Okay, side note. We know that Lisa Vanderpump is going to be on Watch What Happens Live tomorrow night on Wednesday. Cannot wait. So excited. And my thoughts on Lisa are this. I think it's twofold. One, I think she probably is really pissed, embarrassed, disappointed, and upset. But then the business side of her is like, well, this is going to be great for TV. It's going to be great for ratings. It's going to be great for the show. We're definitely going to get renewed. But I just have the gut feeling that yeah, that's all cool about like the ratings and all of that. But I think that Lisa Vanderpump overwhelmingly will feel more disappointed and upset than happy about ratings. Do you know what I mean? Like, sure, the rating is going to be great. They, they're going to get renewed. Like, it's pretty much a guarantee at this point, right? But I just think that Lisa Vanderpump feels more disappointed than excited for ratings. That's just kind of the gut feeling I have. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What do you think about what do you think about that? Okay. Well, let's go. Earlier in the day, Lala put Raquel on blast for singing for sending her a legal letter requesting that the cast delete a sexually explicit video of the former beauty pageant queen that they may have obtained. So we watched that um that little clip before. Now let's watch her video from Amazon. I just have a little snippet of it. Okay. Here we go. You want the scam of all tea. You don't think I know why some of y'all are here right now? My brain is fried, you guys. The scandal, the scandal all oh. happened on a Thursday, which didn't even give me a weekend because I was, I'm tired because I turned into a troll, all right? <laughs> My Instagram was definitely on fire. I couldn't stop. The troll was activated. Okay. Let's just say when he whose name we shall not mention when his mask fell, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. I started seeing things from a 30,000 foot view, people. It's been the craziest five days. Scott asks, is Ariana staying with Tom? I don't know that. I have no idea what that living situation is like. I know they both own that house. Um, when will Tom apologize to Ariana? I am not in Tom's head. I don't know what he's thinking. Never liked that guy. And now it feels good to have everyone else feel the same way I do. Yes, 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 yes. Go Lala. All right. So that was Lala clapping back at the cease and desist legal letter and then also clapping back during her Amazon live. So I want to know what you guys think. Stick around my candy canes because we have two more stories to go. But put it down below. What do you think about, you know, Lala clapping back? I'm happy she is. I don't really care about the whole hypocrisy angle when it comes to Lala. Like, I'm here for it. I don't care that she slept with James. I don't care that she cheated on Randall. You know, let's live in the present moment and just let her go all the way in on Raquel. So put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out the description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free. You get a lot of self-care content. I tell you, it's really good. And with that, Let's move on to our next story, which is Raquel getting fired for the second time. I feel so vindicated with this story. And also, I'm not the only person being vindicated by this story. Sheena Shea is also going to be vindicated by this story. So let's first start with a little bit of background info. I'm sure everybody knows this, but just in case there's new people, let's start with the background info. So this is, whoops. 
Okay, so this is Raquel's initial PR strategy, okay? This was her initial strategy. So this was from Dumas from a couple of days ago. It says, Raquel's PR strategy. Raquel fired her PR team yesterday. Side note, I was one of the only people, except for my other candy canes. My, my other candy canes were with me because we were critical thinkers. And I said, no way. Raquel was the one who was fired from the PR company, okay? If you want my whole spiel on that, go watch that video, okay? And I feel very vindicated, and we're going to get into it. So I said, no way, she was fired. But let's keep going. Which, not so coincidentally, was the same as Tom Sandoval's PR team. Of course she was fired. The PR team could no longer represent both of them because it would be a conflict of interest because they're both in a scandal that they're going to point fingers at each other. Anyway, let's keep going. Her new team is already on the offensive, crafting a narrative, crafting a narrative that Raquel is also a victim in all of this. When she films with Sandoval later today, she's been advised and is planning to break things off with him. TBD if that happens. The plan is the plan is to then go after him for screen recording the FaceTime sex session without Raquel's consent, which was uncovered by Ariana on Sandoval's phone and led to the unraveling of events. They're planning to allege that Sandoval took advantage of Raquel while she was in a vulnerable moment in life, clouding her judgment, then recording intimate videos without her knowledge. She will then go on an apology tour, relaying that she's devastated by what has unfolded and for betraying, and for betraying one of her best friends, Ariana. At present, Raquel is not taking responsibility for her role in the affair. Obviously not. She's nasty, narcissistic, and egotistical, but let's keep going. She's more concerned with correcting the record on the finger banging video than taking accountability for the hurt that she has caused. And just for the record, she doesn't, she didn't have these ideas, nor plans to distance from Sandoval until her new PR relayed their strategy to try and save her image. Okay. Now, we also saw on her Instagram, and again, remember, this is background for what happened today. Then we saw on her Instagram header that she had changed her contact information to Jack at Full Scope PR. As we also broke the news, Jack is the same exact publicist that Erica Jane had um, and still has. And he was the one that allegedly leaked all of the Kathy Hilton, you know, um, Lisa Renna, Aspen drama as a way to deflect from Erica stuff. So that's who this Jack is. That Jack from Beverly Hills reunion and all of that situation and end of the show. Okay. Finale. Same exact Jack. So that was going on. Now, this has since been confirmed. One, we saw today that it broke that Raquel did send, you know, a letter, a legal letter threatening the cast, you know, we'll sue you if you, you know, send out this sexual video of Raquel finger banging herself. You know, she sent that out to all of the cast members. And in the legal letter that she sent, she's claiming that the video was taken without her consent. So that's confirming everything in here, right? There you go. That was her strategy. Lie and be the victim. Where I think she went wrong is playing the victim. Totally send the totally send the cease and desist to not distribute it. Fine. Don't don't put it on a, a site or anything like that. Don't send it around. Got it. But don't act like it wasn't taken with consent. Here are more. Now let's see what happened today. Now, this is also according to Dumas, and it says, subject, Rachel's new PR team drops her, and she's lawyering up. So she's now been fired by two publicists. Here we go. Well, that lasted a whole day. Fans may have noticed that Rachel has already taken her new crisis PR's email out of her IG bio. Side note, we do. Thank God for screenshots. So at the top of here, this is now her current Instagram bio. As you can see, there is no contact information. So I'm guessing her manager even dropped her because the management is now gone. And the new Jack email is gone and she has no contact information in her bio at all. Versus what was there yesterday, which is beneath it, 
with the contact information. Okay, let's keep going. They dropped her on Sunday after uncovering many inconsistencies in her story. Okay, i.e. no black eye. Side note, and rock with me on this, Candy Canes, and I want your conspiracy theories and your thoughts. Put them down below. That is the line that I think vindicates Sheena Shea. Because remember what was going around was that, you know, um, Ariana had called Sheena. She was crying. She sent her the video. She saw the video. Sheena got really pissed off and punched Raquel. Either punched her or slapped her or pushed her. Some type of physical altercation. And then Raquel's sister was on Twitter beefing with Charlie. And Charlie was like, nobody deserves like a gut punch like this. You know, you, you know, figuratively speaking, nobody deserves to have this, you know, pain. And, and her sister was like, yeah, nobody deserves to be punched in the face either. And that's when everybody was speculating, oh, did Sheena Shea punch Raquel? I.e. having a black eye. The fact that now it's coming out that her even her crisis PR and they do some very shady Olivia Pope scandal handling it situations for their clients. Even if they are like, girl, bye, we're, you're fired, we're dropping you because you're lying. And I, and I think another lie is the whole, I think they also figured it out. I bet you they watched my video because I broke all the way down why the PR strategy was going to be a bust. I think they also figured out that Raquel was lying about the fact that the video was taken without her consent. I think she actually took it herself. That's what I think. I don't think that Tom Sandoval was like, let me screen record this while you're touching yourself. I think she did the whole situation because probably, you know... I, she probably sent it to him, and that's how it went down. I think the PR team realized she was lying about that. So they knew that their strategy wouldn't work because the cat was too far out the bag. There was too many things we already knew. And then I think they realized she was lying about Sheena Shea hitting her, i.e. no black eye, right? So even they were like, we're not touching this one, boo-boo. And she's dropped. So let's keep going. She's now desperately trying to find new reps to help her out. Sandy is doing a full court press to keep her under his spell of control to prevent her from distancing and turning on him. Maybe this is true. He did go visit her late night on Saturday night for a little booty call session, you know, late night drive by, you know, a little you up session. Maybe it's true. Meanwhile, Rachel's parents have hired her a litigation attorney with a few people in their crosshairs. They believe that Ariana, Ariana, if I say Ariana, sorry, that's just like how I talk. Okay, so our, with um, they believe that Ariana recorded or sent herself evidence of cheating she found on Tom's phone and believes that to be an act of revenge, P word, revenge corn, okay? So they are considering their legal options against her. Also, her parents would like to go after Sandy for recording content without Rachel's consent. She's telling her parents that she would never do that. However, I don't think it will be too difficult to find people who can corroborate Rachel's participation in recording and sharing intimate content. No shame or judgment intended. She's just been doing it since her high school days. So it's laughable that she's trying to sell this story that this type of behavior is out of character for her. However, if Tom is successful in keeping Raquel in lockstep, she obviously won't be pursuing that option. Uh, 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 uh. See, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be sh pursuing the legal option that Tom took the video without her consent because it's not true. If he took the video, it was with her consent. That's even if he took it. I think she took it and sent it to him. And that's why it wasn't in that legal letter. I don't know. I haven't read the California 
revenge corn law. I haven't read that, so I don't know everything that's implicit in it. But I I don't know if they have a case against Ariana or not. You know, she sent the it was a video in his phone that she sent or forwarded or texted to Sheena or maybe somebody else. I don't know. To me, that's a private one on one. It wasn't like she posted it to a website or gave it to a blogger or, you know, put it on Instagram or TikTok, you know, where it's like public domain. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read the law. I don't know. But I think it's petty as hell. And it would be such a Karen move if they try to take legal action against her. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be dismissed out the gate. But I say all that to say this, I don't think anybody should share it. I think if anybody actually does have it in their possession, they should delete it. You know, I don't believe, even though Raquel, Rachel is a hot mess, I don't think people should share it. I do think that's wrong. You know what I mean? But I also don't think any legal action should be, you know, put against Ariana for being in shock, being like, oh my gosh, I'm looking at my boyfriend's phone and all of a sudden I see Raquel fingering herself. Yeah, let's go to court. Let's go to court over that, Raquel. Oh, what an idiot. But I want to know what you guys think. And stick around my candy canes because we have one more story coming up. But as always, I want to know what you guys think. So put it down below. What do you think about Raquel now? Again, in my very humble opinion, being fired twice. First by her original PR uh, company because it was a conflict of interest because they had both her and Thomas clients. And now by Erica Jane's publicist, Jack, when they're basically like, there's too many lies. You're lying about consent and you're lying about Sheena hitting you. We want no parts of this. Is that the hugest red flag you've ever seen when even Erica Jane's publicist is like, I want no part of you? Yikes. That also says to me, this is the tip of the iceberg about what Raquel has really been up to. That the PR team knows way more than what has come out. And they're basically like, we can't ride with you because we actually know the truth. But yet they ride with Erica Jane. Make of that what you will, okay? So put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because the key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% for free. All right, you guys, with that, let's move on to our next story, which is dun, da, da, the return of Jax Taylor. The return of Jax Taylor. Now, this is the sitch. Jax is saying that he is headed to watch what happens live. Now, I think he's in the same boat with Stassi. When it comes to whether or not he can come back to the actual show itself, i.e. actual Vanderpump rules. Like, I don't think they'll ever bring Stassi back, and I don't think they'll ever bring Jax back. I, it, like we talked about earlier, it's rumored that Kristen Doty will be coming back more like a friend of appearance, maybe a couple episode arcs to give her unique perspective on the situation since, you know, she dated Tom for all of those years. They both cheated on each other. And then, in fact, when they finally broke up for good, a big part of that was because he was cheating with Ariana himself, right? And I think that, and we touched upon this earlier, I do think it's okay for Kristen to come back. I think her situation was isolated, but I think Stassi has done too much. And I think Jax has done too much. If you guys don't remember, Jax also got fired because of a bunch of racist things that he did. I forget exactly who it was, but he was sending like either like monkey emojis and things like that. And he talked about some some talked about somebody's boyfriend or husband. He was black and about their nose being big. It was like another reality star or something like that. But anyway, let's get into it. Jax Taylor to appear on Watch What Happens Lives for Vanderpump Rules Cheating Scandal, okay? And this source is TV show's ace, all right? That's the source. Here we go. 
Jax Taylor is set to appear on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. This comes in light of the Vanderpump Rules cheating scandal. On Friday, March 3rd, news broke that Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox ended their nearly 10-year relationship due to Sandoval's affair with Raquel. He already shared his thoughts and will speak out more soon. Jax Taylor says he was right all along. Over the weekend, Jax Taylor took to Twitter to share his thoughts on the cheating scandal that rocked Pump Rules and Bravo. He admitted that he was right all along about them. He shared his thoughts. Let's see what he said. He said in a, in a tweet, I've called a lot of things on that show that people never believed. Everything I say always ends up being true, Jax tweeted. Side note, there was also another video that surfaced where Jax, and this was like a couple years ago, like years ago, years ago, where Jax had predicted, but again, you don't have to be, you know, a psychic to have, predict, to have predicted this. But he predicted that Tom was going to cheat on Kristen with Ariana. Ariana. If I say Ariana, sorry. Ariana. That he was going to cheat on Kristen with Ariana. Right? But I could have told you that. I mean, anybody could have told you that. You know, good one, Jax. But if you watch the show, it didn't take a rocket scientist to know that they were clearly already hooking up. And I don't believe that they only kissed. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Unlike Raquel, Rachel in high school, you know, sending nudes, I think that they banged. That's what I think. Okay. Us Weekly recalled his interview from 2020. The former Sir bartender was asked about his thoughts on Sandoval and Ariana's relationship. Jack scoffed, there is no relationship. He then added that he should be careful about what he says about the former couple. Again, I have no ill will toward either of them. I just see them as roommates, Jax said. Glorified roommates who hook up occasionally. He also revealed that he didn't see wedding plans in the future for the pair. Jax is right about that since Ariana admitted that she didn't want to get married and have kids. Jax thinks Sandoval wants to get married, which could be the reason behind his infidelity. Now I'm going to stop the article right there. That's not a reason for anybody's infidelity. You wanting children and your partner not wanting children is not a reason to cheat. It's a reason to break up. It boggles my mind. I've seen so many people try to justify Tom Sandoval cheating. She didn't want kids. He wanted kids. She didn't want to get married. He wanted to get married. You know, Lala, you know, went down on her. So it's okay that he cheated and all of this stuff. No. First of all, Tom, if you had, a, and I do think Tom had a problem with the whole Lala, Ariana hookup situation that they talked about. But if you had such a problem with it, get out of the relationship. How many years ago was that? And that was before you bought a house with her. So you cannot say years ago, you know, when you were discovering your sexuality and, you know, Lala went down on you in my presence, it really pissed me off. Now, five years later, after we've bought a house together and have done business together, now I'm going to use that as the reason why I'm going to cheat on you. That doesn't make sense. Oh, you don't want kids? Let me go cheat on you. You don't want to get married? Let me go cheat on you. No, she was very clear from jump who she was and what she wanted. And you chose to still go into business with her with the cocktail book and the cocktail app, that little, you know, drink business they got. And you chose to buy a $2 million home with her. And now you want to say that's an excuse for cheating? What? It's not an excuse for cheating. It's a reason to never have gotten into a long-term relationship to, with someone that you knew you were not compatible with. Not an excuse for cheating. Absolutely boggles my mind. Boggles my mind. All right, let's keep going. The Vanderpump Room alum said the relationship would end because of it. I've rarely, rarely, rarely ever been wrong on the show, Jax added. I can't even think of a time I've ever been wrong. I don't think it's going to last that much longer. Sorry, I don't. Bloop. 
On Monday, March 6, Andy Cohen talked about the pump rule scandal on his radio show. He admitted that he exchanged texts with Jax Taylor the, mo the most about it. It sounds like Jax is set to return to the Watch What Happens Live clubhouse to share his thoughts. On Tuesday, March 7th, the former Bravo star teased some big news for his fans, saying, see you soon at Bravo, watch what happens live. He later confirmed that he will be back in the clubhouse soon with his wife, Brittany Cartwright. Wow, 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 wow. Now it's unclear how soon it'll be released, but we'll see. Because they also have Lisa coming on Wednesday. So they might save Jax for like a good episode or maybe around reunion time. Who knows? But I, we, we know that they have Lisa coming on Wednesday. Now, this is <laughs> a hot ass mess. A hot mess. This also reminds me how much Tom Sandoval hates other, not necessarily strong men, but other men that take up the attention. You know, Sandoval and Jax have always sort of had a frenemy relationship. You know, remember they had the whole, who's the who's the number one guy in the group? I'm the number one guy in the group. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? When at the end of the day, they both were, as we now all know, narcissistic, sociopathic, egotistical monsters. They're basically one and the same. They've both lied through their teeth multiple times. They're both serial cheaters. And they both have no regard for how anybody else feels. So I'm glad, Jax, that you can say, I told you so. Sure, because you think like him and you act like him. Therefore, you know him. We get it. We get it. Now, I'll, I, I'll be watching when he's on Watch What Happens Live, but I'm really happy they're not going to bring him back to the actual show. And they better not even think about bringing Stassi back. But I'm here for them bringing Kristen back. But I want to know what you guys think. But stick around my candy canes. I'm going to take some of your questions and comments before we head on out. I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What do you think about – we talked about a lot of stuff. What do you think about the fact that Tom Sandoval seems to hate strong women? What do you think about the fact that Tom and Jax both are very narcissistic and sociopathic? What do you think about the fact that Jax is coming back to Bravo for Watch What Happens Live to talk about it? And everything else we've talked about, put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because the key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free, self-care, self-love all day, every day. So with that, let's take some of your candy cane questions and the comments. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. I'm trying to get up. Hey, what's up? Lord 